it starts with your trailer. So you have a passion in crops, like oh, figuring out. Yeah, I did that 18 years ago. All starts with a trailer. Dude, I love it. If you are not confident to start with, then don't even show up. So the last farmer we were just at said that this chemical company wants to see our rig and it was just 20 minutes down the road. So that's what we're doing. We're here at the chemical company. So we're just gonna go see if we can find it. How's it going? Are you Mel? It works for Mel. Me, Mike Yoder. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mel. Nice to meet you. Okay, sweet. I was just ran for a client a year, uh, Jeff Hirschberger in Baltic. Yeah. And he said that he talked to you a little bit about our rig and said yeah. you are interested in seeing it. Yeah, that's exciting stuff. Yeah, Here's for sure. Big things here. Yeah, let's show you the rig. This is the rig, two drones off of one trailer. We got the thousand gallon water tank with the 175 gallon induction tank. Right now, if you have an efficient team on a trailer like this with the pump that we're running, you should be able to land, swap a battery and take off in about 60 to a minute and a half. So you'll have a canopy. Yep, yep, that's built uh, for an umbrella. We put this up here, we call this the pilot protection wall. So the pilots will fly back here just in case a drone would go rogue. But what happens is you launch one drone, you get him out in the field, then you land him and take him off from back there. That way you got more space to come in and out. One thing we can do with this trailer that nobody else in the country right now building drone trailers is, we could actually waterproof this thing. So spill proof right? Like spilling your chemicals, making sure that it doesn't go anywhere. We could actually do that with this solid composite deck. So this is how we run with our uh, controllers up in here. You can you know, move it around. If you want to fly from the railing, you can do that as well. Another thing that I built on my uh, trailer is I put these charge boxes in the floor. Like everybody else is traveling with them up front and walking these batteries. They're 27 pounds. Like after a while doing this all day long, cause you know how it is. Like you start when the sun comes up and you don't stop till it goes down. I built these in the floor. I teach people like get on your knees, lift the battery up, set it there. Now, if you want to get up, you literally have like one step to go like that. Like it's all about efficiency. The tying the drones down, we have two spots to tie the drones down, not just one. So if one fails, the drone still stays up here. Guys are like, do you travel with these up here? What about the rain and stuff? Absolutely. I drove this trailer 4,000 miles already with these drones up here. Field. So you went and got your pilot's license with an airplane to look at the crops. Yeah. No way. You are committed. Yeah, I tried infrared. So you have a passion in crops, like oh, figuring out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I did that 18 years ago. Dude, I like it. Cause you're like, you already were trying to figure out how to use drones or, or scout or whatever. And now you see these, that's why you are like, Mike, yes, I do think that it is yeah. the future. No, way. that's, way that's go. encouraging. Well, doggone, I'm glad I drove down here and met yeah. you. If you have any type of spraying that you need to have drones do or want to see drones do, let us know. You got to be outfitted right. And it all starts with a trailer. I am 100% convinced and I tell the folks that are watching, it starts with your trailer because you start lifting that drone off, getting it down, then putting it back on. And you do that 15, 20 times in a day, you're not going to want to do that. Well, do you know what? I drove down here without a business card. I told these guys like, I'm bad with that. So I got your number. Perfect. Confidence. Get it? No. Help me out. <laughs> No, keep up what you're doing. Confidence. Good Thanks. You pull these cards so you, you, you pass the test there. I appreciate that. Let's do a handshake. I got perspective too. Okay. <laughs> Anybody need perspective? Dude, I love it. Okay. Alrighty, well, I got your number. I got your confidence and uh, we'll just be in touch. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks a bunch. Alrighty. Stop it in here. Yeah, no problem. Here's the deal. That's what you got to go in with. If you are not confident, to start with, then don't even show up, all right? They randomly stopped in at this uh, chemical company and they are all for it. He has been doing his own research for years already using aeroplanes and different types of things. 25 years he's been doing this and he's like, yes, Mike, this is the future. He is convinced. If you're looking to get into it, if you wanna start it, if you're a farmer, you want your own rig, you wanna get drones, get a hold of us. We do the drones, we do the training, we manufacture, we build the trailers. So that's all I got. We'll see you guys on the next one. You gotta feed your cameraman. Let me uh, take it off. If you're doing this type of work, the pilots, they don't have to eat, they don't have to drink water. You don't need anything if you're a pilot. Yeah.
But if you're the cameraman, you better feed the cameraman because you won't get good shots. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go get something to eat. 